Those grassy banks of your favorite trout stream offer an incredible opportunity to apply one of fly fishing's sneakiest tactic, the terrestrial drop. Deliberately casting your fly so that it lands on the grassy stream bank isn't what you're taught to do in Fly Fishing 101. Most fly fishing courses encourage you to think wet when casting your fly. But if you want the most success when fishing ants, grasshoppers, beetles, and other terrestrials, casting ashore will result in good trout from spring through fall. Starting late spring with the emergence of large beetles and carrying through summer into autumn, when grasshoppers, ants, and flying ants are blown or fall onto the water, trout have keyed into that food source and have positioned themselves along a stream's edge, anticipating an easy meal. Water conditions are usually low and clear at that time, meaning that it's tough to land a big hopper anywhere near a shallow holding trout without smacking the water and potentially spooking the fish. Enter the terrestrial drop. It takes a little getting used to, and a lot of faith that it'll work, and relies on grasses being present. The concept is simple, cast your fly and overshoot the stream by two feet, landing your fly on the grasses. The smooth nature of grass allows the fly to slide down the grass blades without getting hung up as it would on woody shrubs like willows or birch. Your fly will likely stick a little bit to the grass blades, but by either allowing the drag of the current on your fly line to slowly tighten your line, or by stripping a little bit of line slowly back, increases the tension. The fly will pop or slide off the grass and onto the water, and it will generally land less than a foot offshore with a subtle yet firm arrival that the trout are looking for. Okay, let's see if I can set that up again. So I'm gonna overcast onto the grass deliberately. The current's gonna tighten up my line, and I'm just gonna tighten up, and that fly is gonna come off the grass onto the water. And you see, I'm just gonna twitch it. I'm right against the bank in there, and that's Hopper fishing, beetles, ants, all that kind of stuff. You deliberately go right at the bank, overcast, and you land your, your fly right in the grasses, and the current is gonna tighten up on your fly line, and you're just gonna allow that to happen. You do a figure eight retrieve for about three or four pulls, and by the time that fourth pull happens, your fly will pop right off the grass and onto the water four inches out from an undercut bank. Ballsy. Oh, yeah. Keep them coming. They got a log there. That's a really big fish. 